Hi, this is Rob Graham at Learning Craft. And again, I wanted to take a few minutes and show you how to do something that I think is fairly handy to understand with regard to ActionScript and using Flash, and that is how to control objects using cursor keys or using other keys. And in this case, I want to create a movie clip that we can move around the stage using our arrow keys. And it looks something like this. And there we are. We have a star that shows up. And if I push, push my up key, it will go up. And then I can go over here to the left or down and uh, go over here to the right. Okay, so all I'm really doing is just pressing my keys. And every time I press it or hold it down, it will just go and move the star in that direction. Now, it's a fairly easy process to do. Let's do it from scratch, make it a lot more interesting for all of us. And what we need to do first is create an object that we can convert to being a movie clip. Now I'm just going to go over here and let's go and I'm going to grab the Polystar tool, give it a nice uh, nice yellow fill. By the way, if you're not familiar with the Polystar tool, it allows us to get down here to our properties. We can click on this options button here and set whether we want to have a polygon, the number of sides, etc. Or uh, in this case, I'm going to go for a star. I'm going to go for the old traditional five-sided star and uh, just draw it right there and uh, orient it in a way that I think is meaningful. There we go. And so now I have a star. Now in order for this to become a movie clip, I have to now select it and I have to declare it as a movie clip. So I'm just going to go to my modify menu and I'm going to say convert to symbol. And it says, what kind of symbol would you like? And I say, why? I'd like a movie clip symbol, please. And let me just give it a, here, we'll call it yellow star. Okay, whoops. Make sure the keyboard gets all the key strokes there. So now we have an object, which is a movie clip, and now, as such, we can attach a script to it, and this script will allow us to control this object. In order to attach a script to this movie clip, we first click on it to select it, and right here where it says Actions, on our Actions tab it says Movie Clip. If we double-click on this, it allows us to go in here and start writing a script that will allow us to control the star. Now, what are we doing here? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to set a little bit of a background for it. If I want this star to move, one of the things it's going to need to understand is what does move mean? How many pixels do you want me to move? How far? How fast? That kind of thing. We're going to keep it fairly simple and we're going to set some sort of initialization that says, okay, every time someone pushes one of the cursor keys, I want you to move in increments of, let's say, five pixels. So I'm going to start here by setting up a little bit of a script that is inside the movie clip that is looking for an event so that it can take care of this backend work. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by saying on clip event. And the clip event I'm going to look for in this case is load. And that means when the program, when this movie clip loads as part of the program, I want it to do a little bit of housekeeping for me. And what I want it to do is I want it to set basically a variable that's going to say, all right, something called move speed is going to be equal to a value of 5. Okay, and that's it. So we'll put our close curly bracket there. So for the most part, on clip event load, I want you to load in something uh, called move speed, basically start a new variable, and give it a value of 5, and we'll, uh, we'll call it when we need it. Now the next thing that's going to happen is if you look up here in our main timeline, the movie clip that we've created, the star that we've created, is sitting in a single frame. This means as the movie plays, what's happening to the playback head is it's leaving frame one and it's running out of places to go, so it comes back to frame one and it leaves and it comes back and it leaves and it comes back. And this is very handy for our needs because it also means that we can measure every time it comes back into this keyframe as a way of determining the passage of time and also to see how things are progressing. So what I want to do now is I want to create a, basically another handler, another on clip event. And this time, instead of looking for load, we're going to be looking for enter frame. So every time the playback head comes back into the frame, we're going to run our script and we're going to constantly update and see what's going on. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go and we want to measure to see if anyone is pressing any of the keys on the keyboard. And we'll start by saying, hey, if, and we'll look for key, by the way, that's a capital K, if key is down, so it's looking, hey, someone pressed a key, the key is down. And we say, that's great, but we're looking for a specific key. And we'll say, well, if that key by the way, is the right key, and that's all block cap, and then we'll terminate that with two closed parentheses, and we'll put in a, an open curly bracket there. So basically we're saying, hey, you're measuring if a key is down, that's great, but it has to be a key we're looking for, and in this case it's the right key. 
And if that happens to be the case, then I want you to do something to the star. Now, how does the star know what we want to do to him? Well, we've attached this script to the object that is the star. It's a movie clip, looks like a star, but it understands itself as this. Basically, it's saying, hey, the script is attached to me, this object. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, this, whatever it is, the object that has the script attached to it, what I want you to do now is I want you to change where you are on the stage. And I'm going to do that by telling you, by using underscore x, to move along your x coordinate. And I want you to go and I want you to do a plus equal whatever the current value of move speed is. Remember move speed? Okay, so we're going into that variable we created before, and we're now calling it and saying, hey, I want you to go. Well, move speed is equal to 5, and this means that we're going to be moving in 5 pixels. And in this case, we're going to be moving in a direction that's going to the right. Now, very quickly, let me go out here and show you what we're dealing with here. If I go to my upper left-hand corner, that's known as 0, 0. That's pretty much the 0 point for the x-axis and the 0 point for the y-axis. That also means that if I want to go anywhere over here to the right, I'm going in a positive number. It also means if I'm going down, I'm going in a positive number. Conversely, if I go to the left, I'm going toward negative numbers, as well as going up, it leads to a negative number. Well, that really helps us with our little bit of script here. Let's go back into the script here. And this little guy here, this plus equal, is basically shorthand for saying, take your current value, whatever it is, of x, and go and take the value of move speed and add it to it and then come up with a new solution. Okay, so every time I press that key, it's going to say, I'm going to take where I currently am, I'm going to take 5 and add it to it, and I'm going to move the star to that new position. Okay, now, that's pretty much how we've handled that key. The good news is, is all the rest of the keys have a very similar approach, and to save myself a whole bunch of time, I'm just going to go and copy this chunk of code, and I'm going to paste it three more times. And what I need to do now is just go in and change some of these elements to make sure that the other keys are being represented. So for example, we have the left key, and I also want to have the up key, and over here, we'll work with the down key. And the only other thing we need to change is we need to talk to the star and tell it where it's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. Well, when we move to the right, we're moving in a positive number. However, when we move to the left, we want to move in a negative direction. So we just put a negative there. When we're moving up, what we need to do is we need to move in a negative direction, but instead of being on the x-axis, we're moving on the y-axis. So let's go in here, change that to y, change that to negative, and conversely, if we're moving down, we're going to be moving down the y-axis, and we're also going to be doing that toward a positive number. Okay. Now we get to the end of it. I think we just need to put in one more terminating closed curly bracket here, and everything should be good. As always, we can click on the blue check marks to check our syntax. The script contains no errors, which is always a, a good little reward. And now if we go and run this thing, let's move this to the center. When I press my keys, there we go, I'm pressing the up key and my left key and my down. And finally, go over here to the right. And if I hold the key down, it will just repeat. Every time it goes in the loop, every time the playback head goes back in, it will say, hey, I'm finding that there's a down key down, and it will just continue to run the script until something changes. Okay, So it's a good little script to have in your archive, something to know how to do to move movie clips around, and there are some other things that we can do to this to really enhance it, but from a basic standpoint, this should hopefully give you the information that you need. And as always, if there's anything I can do to help you, any of those of us at LearningCraft, please feel free to get in touch with us at www.learningcraft.com. And uh, we also offer several online Flash-based courses to help you learn Flash in, uh, in some very fundamental ways. That's all I have for now. This is Rob Graham once again. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again real soon.